were young girls um, 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 trying to get to venture into football but are scared because I mean it's a male dominated space. What are some of the things you like to tell them? You, no, you can't be scared because there's enough of us now to show you it can be done. Um, I know that it's, it's a very daunting space to be in. No one really knows where to start, um, but every journey will be different. I was a print journalist starting in rugby. Other people started in radio, other people you know, were inter entertainers first and then in sports. So everybody's journey is different and I will repeat this. Your power is in your uniqueness. There is nobody who's like you. So exactly like Omotola said earlier on, you have to lean into that. Um, and don't be afraid. If you're passionate about it, it'll show. And that's really all you can do. Uh, when I finished my trick, I had no idea what I was going to study. I didn't know. And you don't have to have everything figured out right away. I don't think so. Is there that kind of pressure on young people to do that? To know you want to be a doctor and to go into that? <laughs> like, no. The Gen Z thing now. So really? No, I don't think so. I think you'll... There's, there's a saying that in your lifetime, you might have seven different kinds of, of jobs or seven different kinds of careers. So there is nothing permanent. You can go into something, discover that you don't like it and switch to something else. Hard work. Yes, maybe you need the privilege of having the funds or the time. But the, the only thing that's permanent, there's nothing that's permanent. The only thing that's permanent is death. Until then, you, you're still living. You can change you can change your mind you can follow a different career it might mean that you have to do more work um, Nana Ama who's been my chaperone this week she's working and studying it's possible mm -hmm.